Hello everybody and welcome to my 12th XL 2010 VBA tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use boolean variables. Uh, so boolean variables are a special type of variable that is used to just store um, kind of like an on off switch piece of information. So it either shows true or it shows false. Um, and they're very important in coding uh, and it's very important concept to, to get around um, but at the same time it's a very simple concept to get around uh, so let's get started so let's just create ourselves a new sub so I'm going to call this sub Matty uh, just to give it a name um, and then we're going to declare ourselves a boolean variable so dim my bool as boolean um, and then we can set this equal to a value um, but all we can set it to is either equals true or equals false. You literally just type true or false um, and then as we want to throughout our program then we can just switch it depending on what's happening in the program between the two different uh, two different scenarios. Um, so for now I'm going to set it equal to false um, and then what can we do with this? So we could we can write it out the same as normal. So a message box, my ball, and we can press play, and then it's just going to write out false for us. So we'll just write it out as if it's a string. Um, so you may be thinking that's pretty pointless at the moment. Why would you want to just have a turn it on and off? You could just have a string saying yes or no. Um, well, we can we can take this a step further. So my ball can take. Um, it doesn't have to take just true or false. It can take a, a kind of argument. So my ball equals, and then if we put in brackets, let's put five equals six. And then let's press play. And then my ball is going to come through as false because five doesn't equal five doesn't equal six. So it's working out this uh, formula on this side, this equation on this side, and going no, that's not true. So I'm going to put false. If we put this as five and press play, uh, then it's going to say it's true uh, because five is equal to five. Um, and similarly we can do the same with strings so if we write a couple of strings in so let's write hello goodbye and press play then it's going to come through with false because hello isn't equal to goodbye um, whereas on the other hand if we have he equal to and then let's go back to our old left comma two if we do this so this is going to take the foot two left hand letters of this compare them to the two le the string over here so this should come out true um you don't just have to use the equal sign there are quite a few other operators you can use so you can use uh less the less than greater than, uh, you can use doesn't equal, um, so that's less than and greater than next to each other. Um, ignore this message, it's just coming up because it's trying to compile it and this is an actual code that I'm writing here, so it's, it's, it's just erroring. So instead of just writing them out there, I'm going to put them up here. So let's put doesn't equals in. So doesn't equals, so they're the same and it's asking if they don't equal so this should come out false um, and if we do it with numbers so let's put 4 doesn't equal 5 press play and then that says true because 4 doesn't equal 5 um, and let's put 4 doesn't equal 8 divided by 2 uh, and press play so this one's saying false um, so this just put some brackets in and see if that's what's causing us the problems so that's because I've put doesn't equal so 
Um, because 8 divided by 2 is 4, and this is 4, um, it's going to put false because they're not true. Um, we can also put numbers in there, so let's put less than. So 4 is less than 5. Press play. And then that's going to come up as true. We can change it to greater than. And press play. And then that's going to be false. Um, and we can also use greater than or equal to. So um, if we have 4 and we just put it as 4 is greater than 4, it's going to come through as false because 4 isn't greater than 4. But if we put an equal sign, so this means 4 is greater than or equal to 4. And we press play and it's going to say true. Um, because 4 is greater than or equal to 4. Um, and again, you can put in as many uh, calculations as you like. Um, it's important to note that you can use numbers, uh, variables in here as well, or you can use reference to cells on your page, uh, pages in your worksheet. Um, so that's it in this tutorial. Um, you may be thinking, um, what's the point in that? It doesn't seem very useful yet. Well, keep listening and tune into the next tutorial and it's going to become really apparent why this is really going to be really useful. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.